Alright guys, Haskell HD here and today what I'm going to be bringing you is an Inform Raphael van der Vaart review. So I played him in the central midfield role in the 4-3-2-1 formation. He's from the Netherlands and he plays for Hamburg. Moved from Tottenham uh, in the summer transfer window unfortunately. But he has 66 pace, maybe a little bit disappointing. Um, if it, maybe if he was about 75 pace it would be better because obviously he might have the pace to get round some players but at 66 many players or most players on FIFA are quicker than that so they easily uh, overtake him or even if you do use his full star skill to get round a player it isn't very effective because he is quite slow I'm not one of those pace whores but if it was about 75 this guy would be a lot more effective an 88 shot which sounds absolutely fantastic but as you can see he did only score one goal in the six games maybe because I was playing in centre midfield he'd probably suit the cam or centre forward role a lot better but he ha apparently has amazing long shots on the card but I'm, uh, in the game stats which we will see in a minute but I didn't really see that probably because I was playing him in the central midfield role but maybe if he, I did play him a little bit further up he'd have scored more goals for me he has 87 passing which I could really tell he did a uh, set up um, Huntelaar who was up front uh, for a lot of goals and also the other two and the right forward and the left forward so he did uh, set up a lot of goals although he didn't score them he did still set them up which I suppose we can kind of forgive him for um, yeah so 85 dribbling he was very good on the ball with his four star weak foot four star skill moves and the 85 dribbling combined he's a very good uh, dribbler of the ball got very brilliant ball skills as you will see in the in-game stats um, a very technically gifted player on FIFA and in real life. He was absolutely fantastic uh, while he was at Tottenham. It's just a shame that we did uh, actually sell him because he was an absolute fantastic player. But he did cost 85,000 coins and I suppose that's a fair price for him. He really did. You could tell his quality when he was on the ball because he did manage to get past players. But once he did, you just had to pass the ball off quick because they would have caught him up unless you used a little bit more skill. But now what we are going to go and do is go and have a look at his in-game stats. So they should be popping up just about now. So as you can see, there's a lot of dark greens and light greens. 91 ball control, 92 curve, 90 finishing, 94 three free kick accuracy, 90 long passing, 92 long shots, 83 penalties, 89 short passing, 88 shot power. Uh, just an absolute amazing stats, 90 volleys, he's got some really good stats in there. Uh, four star weak foot, four star skills, medium attacking work rate, low defensive work rate. He's 5 foot 9, 63 acceleration, 70 sprint speed, 93 reactions, 99 stamina, 90 vision. This guy's passing is absolutely fantastic. So the pros of Inform van der Vaart, amazing ball skills, great passing, tracks back well. The cons are needs more pace, free kicks were disappointing, as was his shot. The overall rating I'm going to give him is 7.8 and the best position for him would probably be cam or centre forward. So if you have enjoyed this review, please be sure to leave a like on my channel. Subscribe to me if you are new. Follow me on Twitter as well because that really does help me out. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.